soccer, one of the world's most famous and popular sport. And here today at Mawa High School, we're going to interview some of the best that we have to offer here at JTN Station. Hello, this is Tim Chu from JTN Station here with an interview with our Mawa High School's captain, Evan Ernst. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, so, Evs, as we just said before, you are the captain of the Mawa High School boys soccer team. And according to my information, it seems that it's your first year on varsity as well. Now, how does that feel to be captain, but have it be the first year on the team? Well, it's an honor to be captain on varsity. And uh, you now that it's my first year on the team is it's tough because the seniors last year were so good. It's a lot to live up to, but I hope I can do a good job. Yes, indeed. Um, the seniors last year were very good. They went all the way to state finals, and uh, unfortunately they lost due to some unforeseen circumstances by the ref. But um, based on their efforts last year, what would you like to see from the team this year or even go beyond what the seniors left behind? Well, if we could win states, that'd be fantastic. But I'd also like to repeat league champions, and they didn't do so great in the county tournament, and I think we can do better. Yes, but for every good team, there has to be good practice as well. Now, how do you feel about the training programs uh, the coach is giving you guys right now? Well, it's great. Everybody's working hard and staying motivated, and I think that's going to help us win this year. Yeah, and for wins as well, I understand that your record is 4-1. Or three and one, something like two that. And two. two and two. But anyways, um, who are the main rivals, the main teams that you're really looking out for in this season? Well, we're gonna play Ramsey and Riverdale again. They were two good games the first time, and uh, we'll hope to win both of them the second time too. All right. Well, there you have it. We have Evan Ernst here, the captain of the Mall High School boys varsity team here on JTN Station. This is your reporter Tim Chu going out. Hello, back again on JTN Station. I'm your reporter, Tim Chu, and here today we have another captain of the Mala Boys varsity soccer team, Alex Barrera. How's your day today? It's fantastic, Tim. All right, now if you don't mind, we're gonna ask some questions. Um, to start it off, how does it feel to be a captain for the team? Uh, it feels pretty good. Um, it's more of responsibility, but uh, I feel that it's better because the leader of the team, I don't know, it's just really good. Uh, now, in, in, in your answer, you said you had more responsibilities. Now, could you pinpoint some of the responsibilities that are added to your back now that you're a captain? Uh, the responsibilities are like keeping like the team, like make sure like no one argues, and on the field you have to like be positive, stuff like that. I also understand that the team moved up in a division for the state's uh, placement. Uh, how do you feel about the new teams that you're about to face? Maybe some that you don't even have any information on. Um, I know for a fact that Rampo, I think, maybe I don't know for a fact, but Rampo, I think, is in our uh, division, and they're a really good team, so that's going to be a big challenge to overcome. Yes, indeed, and now that you're a captain on varsity, and I understand this is your third year, how do you feel the team chemistry is compared to the years before? Um, at first, beginning of the season, I thought we were not going to be as good, but after, uh, Beating Ramsey and winning big games always brings the team together, so that definitely helped the team chemistry. But compared to the other years, uh, I'd probably say every year I play, it's been good, so right now it's pretty good. All right, thank you, Alex. Uh, this is Tim Chu on JTN Station, and you're here to hear first. Here we are going out. Hello here again on JTN Station. This is Tim Chu, interviewee, and um, here we have Coach Chris Buser from the Ma High School boys soccer team and we have some questions to ask for him. Uh, first question would be, what are some of the drills that you perform on the team? One of the goals for the soccer program uh, for us is to really work on first touch. For most younger players, sub varsity players, that's usually the biggest issue. So a lot of the drills we do, we try to work on first touch and then usually passing the ball off. Since you do make the drills, what is it like to manage a soccer team? Well, coaching high school sports has always been something I've wanted to do. Um, it's, it's challenging in itself because you have to figure out where kids are best suited to play, uh, who can be the, the positive forwards, who have enough speed to maintain uh, plays, things like that, who has the best ball handling and distribution skills in terms of soccer, and then who are your best defensemen. So figuring out all the pieces of the puzzle is probably the biggest challenge. 
And on every single soccer team, there are obviously the leaders on the team now. On the team, what do you expect to see in each kid for each leadership quality? I think for me, the, the requirements are pretty much the same. We're looking for quality personalities, kids who have leadership skills in terms of taking the team on the backs of their shoulders, uh, players who will speak up on behalf of their teammates, um, and things, players who will support the coach's decision that they make throughout the year. And based off of past experiences and the past games that you've had, what do you expect in this upcoming season? As in, which teams are you really looking out for and what do you want to see the team improve on? Coaching junior varsity sports is always difficult because you never know quite how a player's developed from years past. Um, but for us, I always say coaching junior varsity sports, you have to look to maintain a 500 record. That's always our goal. Um, although I think our goal is a little bit higher this year because I feel pretty confident with the kids we have. I know we want to make the JV tournament and we want to try to get as far as we possibly can in that. Well, there you have it today, folks. This is your reporter, Tim Chu, on JTN Station, and see you next time.